And the truth is, life isn't that bad. And, uh, and I've loved my life since burying my husband for my mom. And uh, she was saying that we had a difficult year. And I guess I just never really thought about it because it never really seemed to get that bad. We've been jobless, we've been poor. Two weeks before the wedding, our car broke down. Oh, let me place that. Our car kind of exploded. We were going to have to cancel our honeymoon if we didn't find a new one. So I sold my motorcycle. And a month before that, Aiden sold his car to make rent for one month. But I sold my motorcycle so that we can get a new car. We went to, we got married, we went on our honeymoon. Best days of my life, ever. And then he had to leave for training in Missouri. I was able to join him. And I didn't think I was going to be able to actually live with him. I had to leave a lot of stuff behind and I went to go live with my husband for six months in a room not much bigger than my office now, just the two of us. We were on post but we were really far away from everything on post so it was very shut in, very lonely. Graduated and we left for home and we were jobless again. Aiden got a great job in my hometown which was the second place I guess I would have wanted to be. Um, being back in your hometown, to me, it was comforting, but it makes me feel like a loser sometimes. Like, I went to school, I got this, you know, degree, in, but I still feel like I accomplished nothing. And here I am, married, um, starting a family, just like everybody else that stayed in Sandpoint. I feel like it didn't make a difference that I went to college and completed it. He got a great job though and something that he loves to do. That is what matters. Then right after we moved, it got the car got us to Missouri and it got us moved in and then it died. But I've been blessed and lucky and I have family that backs me up, helps us out. So I never really thought of anything as being a hard year. It's been ups and downs like life is. I never really felt hopeless in a bad situation. We were never really desperate. That's because of near misses and all kinds of support and people and life happening the way that it does. I count myself lucky that my biggest problem in my life right now is I don't know what to do with myself. Happy Vita to everybody. Peace, love to you all.